Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I just uh, wanted to do a quick little video for you guys on uh, that a lot of people have been hitting me up. A lot of people have been asking me, uh, what can I do if I have $20,000 uh, as far as real estate uh, and real estate investing? So my answer to that is the very first thing that I really wanna know or, or find out if, if I was them or do if I was them would be to buy a personal house for myself. Now, of course, you can buy the personal house and you can rent out the rooms to pay the payment. So if you, let's say you have $20,000, you're gonna put 10% down, you're gonna buy a $200,000 house, or maybe you only wanna put 5% down and you wanna buy a $300,000 house or something like that. That's totally fine, whatever it is. Maybe it's a duplex or a triplex. That's totally fine as well. Any of those, uh, any of those things are great. You know, I don't think that it's the right thing to do to get into uh, to starting to flip a house right away if you don't own a, uh, a primary residence already. Just getting in and, and uh, flipping a house right off the bat is probably not the best thing because it does take a lot of experience um, and a lot of knowledge to be able to do it. And if you're not already in a personal house, um, I just wouldn't recommend doing it. So what I would do is, like I said, buy a primary home and there's nothing saying that you have to uh, pay for the whole thing yourself. You can absolutely have renters. You can rent out the bedrooms. If you buy, say, a three or a four bedroom house, a four bedroom house, you could live in it yourself and have three renters. So let's say your payment is, um, you know, $1,200, uh, which is probably pretty typical for the house kind of in that two to $300,000 range, depending on interest rates and um, HOA, different things like that. Um, so $1,200, you could rent out each room, uh, so four bedrooms, so you rent out each of the other bedrooms for $500 a month, there's $1,500 a month, and you're good, you pay your payment, more than likely that $300 probably pays your utilities or at least dang close to it. So now you're living for free. So now you're not paying rent anymore. Uh, so now you can accumulate that $20,000 that you had back again really quickly if you're not paying rent. So if you're not paying rent of you know $1,000 or $1,200 or whatever yourself, your roommates are paying it for you. You can do the math. Within 20 months, you have it back plus you have them helping you to pay off your mortgage and you have the write-off of the interest too. So when you have a home, you can write off the interest that you pay yearly on your taxes. So it goes against your taxable income. So depending of course on your tax bracket and things like that, it's thousands of dollars a year that you're saving in income tax too. So realistically, you could put yourself back to that $20,000 within the first year no problem, and you are also gaining equity in that house, as well as uh, paying off the loan every month. So your net worth is increasing substantially all the time. So then within a year or two, if you wanna do a flip house or something like that, by all means, you, you can definitely do it. Or maybe you go in and buy another house. So you say, okay, look, I'm going to rent all of these rooms or just rent the house out to a family uh, long term, and you know, get fifteen hundred dollars a month or whatever for it, and your payments twelve hundred. Now you're cash flowing three hundred dollars a month from that one, and do the same thing with the next property, where you have your uh, your tenants or your roommates essentially paying your payment for you, um, and now you're gaining it even faster uh, by doing that. So, and you've got a residual income from it as well as that property continuing to climb in in uh, value and you have another property now that you're writing off the interest too. So that's really where I tell people to go to first. I, I love people doing flips and I do a, a ton of flips myself. I help a lot of people doing flips every single year. I, I don't disagree with that at all. I love that and if you have a primary home already and you're kind of set there, you're good and you've got this kind of extra cash, you have the time and, and, uh, and you're ready to jump in, absolutely you can do a flip but the very first thing I would do is get yourself into a property. That's the most important thing. So hopefully that helps some of you guys answer some questions. If you've got $20,000, what you can do with it, that's definitely my answer, um, the very first thing. And then after that, of course, like I said, we can continue into doing flips if that's what you wanna do and you already have a house or whatever, you really wanna do the flips, but that's what I would encourage you guys to do first. So give us a thumbs up here. 
comment down below if you've got any other uh, suggestions or comments based on that. I'd love to hear them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got more and more content coming for you guys, real estate and car related, which is always fun. Uh, obviously, I've got some cool cars, so it's kind of fun. I've got some more videos coming on that side too. So again, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. I appreciate you guys watching again.